Hey everybody, welcome back. So this video is going to be my first of many um, health and fitness vlogs that I'm going to do on my channel, something new that I'm trying out. I've gotten a lot of questions, comments, um, a lot of positive feedback, and I just want to thank everybody so, so much. If you follow me on my Instagram, Facebook, um, I've been getting a lot of positive feedback about my weight loss. And so um, I've also been getting a lot of questions like, hey, you know, you look really good. What have you been doing? You know, I see that you've lost so much weight. How have you um, been losing the weight? So I wanted to kind of do an introductory blog, um, let you guys know basically a little bit of background on how I um, found my personal trainers, how I got started on my weight loss journey, and, um, you know, just kind of let you guys know what I've been doing to lose the weight, what I'm still doing to lose the weight, um, because I'm still on my fitness journey, just because, you know, the fitness challenge is over, that does not mean that I have stopped. So, um... I guess first things first, how did I get started on this fitness journey? Well, back, I want to say this was like the end of August. I um, went to the doctor and, you know, just got my annual, you know, regular, um, what am I trying to say? Physical. I was trying to get my annual physical just, you know, to make sure that um, everything was everything. And I had been having some chest pains and some kind of back aches and stuff like that. But, you know, I didn't think it was anything, you know, big or whatever. And so I um, went to the doctor, got all my vitals checked and everything. Everything came back, you know, great, normal. Um, but, you know, um, I was still having, you know, like some occasional chest pains and stuff. And so a couple more weeks goes by and I'm at work one day and I'm driving down the road going to one of my schools and my chest felt like an elephant was stomping on it. I mean, it felt so just tight. I was, like, scared because I didn't know, like, oh, my God, am I dying? Am I having a heart attack? You know, I didn't know what was happening to me. So I pulled over, called my supervisor. I was like, hey, you know, I have to go to the emergency room because my chest is hurting. I can barely breathe. Like, I don't know what's going on. So, of course, she was very understanding. She was like, yeah, yeah, definitely go. So I go to the emergency room. I get all these tests done. I, um, you know, stayed there from, like, maybe 9 or 10 in the morning to, like, 2 or 3 in the afternoon. And they could not find anything wrong with me. And I was like, are you serious? Like, I am hurting. Like, my chest was still hurting hours later. So they sent me to a cardiologist. And basically, the cardiologist said, I'm sorry to tell you this, but you have sleep apnea. And the only cure or way to get rid of sleep apnea is you're going to have to lose weight. And so at that point, it not only became like something that I wanted to do just because, you know, I wanted to, you know, buy different clothes and look better. But it was like, I have to do this. You know, my life depends on it. I have to um, get back into a healthier way of living, a healthier lifestyle. You know, I have to start exercising. I have to start eating right. I have to start drinking more water. I have to start doing all those things. So it became a life and death situation for me. And God is so awesome, I'm telling you, because he will put people in your midst that will just bless your life and just will help you in ways that you could not imagine. Around that same time, one of my friends on uh, my fitness pal, she actually um, had, you know, how one person will post something, but it'll be from someone else's wall or whatever. She had posted about this fitness challenge um, that was run by two awesome, awesome, um, people of God, you know, Philip Williams, which is now my personal trainer, and, um, Sawanda Speaks, which is now my fitness coach. And the two of these, um, uh, these two people, they got together and they, um, formed this fitness company and they were having like this conference call where you get on the conference call and they just basically give you out fitness tips. So I was like, okay, well, I can always use that. And um, the call was really, really good. They had some really good information that they shared. And then at the end of the call, 
they basically opened it up and said, you know, we're doing a fitness challenge um, in the next couple of weeks. And, you know, I was like, well, yeah, definitely give me more information. That's something I want to do. So long story short, um, there was a process, but I did um, get accepted as their client and I paid my money and they trained me. They gave me a um, personalized weight loss plan um, that included, you know, your um, meal plan. And then they gave me a personalized um, actual, you know, workout plan of workouts to do. And so I started working with them towards the end of September. And then the program was about eight weeks long. And at the end of eight weeks... I started out at 226 pounds, and by the end of the eight weeks, I had got down to 215 pounds. So I got down, um, I lost about 10, 10.6 pounds or something like that, um, a little bit over 10 pounds. So my first 10 pounds was very, very difficult to lose. Um, my weight loss um trainer philip he says all the time that you know fitness is 90 percent mental 10 percent physical and it really is because you just have you have to change your mindset i mean anything that you do if you go into it and you feel like you're gonna fail and you feel like you know i've been on diets before you know this isn't gonna work you know first of all you have to get delivered from diets <laughs> and that was the first thing that i had to do because I had been on so many diets and I had tried so many things, but I was never able to keep the weight off. And through working with Sawanda and Philip, they teach you how to um, eat clean, how to, you know, um, keep the weight off. It's not so much about depriving yourself and saying, you know, well, I'm on this, you know, fitness plan. So that's not, you know, in the plan or, you know, this is not, you know, approved food. So I can't have it. It's not so much what you can't have, but it's, you know, it's your por portion control. It's drinking your water. It's your uh, making sure that you're working out. You know, it's all of those things in conjunction together that helps you and basically that's all I did I mean everybody was you know kind of asking me well oh what are you doing and I tell them okay I'm just doing the clean eating I just you know I work out um four to five days a week and I drink eight eight ounce glasses of water a day and they're like okay so what else do you do and I'm like that's it. <laughs> that's, you know, there's no um, big old magical formula. I mean, that's just basically what you do. And once you get it down, you have to continue. You have to be consistent. This is not something that you can do, you know, um, for a couple of days or even a couple of weeks and then that's it. You know, it's a lifestyle change. It's something that even when I get down to my goal weight, which is 180 right now, I'm 211. Um, I'll be weighing in this weekend, so I may be lower than that, but as of now, I have like maybe another at 31 more pounds to go to hit my goal weight. Once I hit my goal weight, that doesn't mean that I'm going to stop eating clean. That doesn't mean that I'm going to stop eating healthy. That just means that I'm going to maintain. I'm going to continue um, to make sure that, you know, I don't um, put the weight back on. So that's basically um, what I've been doing. i have like minimal makeup on now because I'm actually getting ready to head to the gym now to go work out. But that's basically all I'm doing. And so um, having a support system is also something that's helped me. Um, there were, I think there were about 10 of us that did the last challenge together. So me and nine other women and we've all bonded. We've connected. Even now that the challenge is over, we still Facebook each other. We um, Instagram each other. We text each other like, hey, you drawing your water today. Um, did you work out today? You know, if one person, you know, doesn't work out, then it's like, hey, you know, just get back on it. Just get back on it. You know, and that's to me, I feel like it's the whole key. It's kind of like riding a bike. Like when you ride a bike, you... Um, if you fall off, you get back on. You know, you don't sit there and make excuses and complain. You just get back on track. So that's basically all that I'm doing. I um, will be 
um, doing these blogs every other week just to keep you guys updated on my progress, let you know what's been working for me, what hasn't been working for me, and um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So if you have any um, fitness questions or um, anything that you would like to see in these videos, definitely, you know, like this video, comment below, let me know what you guys would like to see, and I will talk to you guys very, very soon in another video. Bye.